recipe on healthy food. So today we are going to make healthy peanut butter and rice crispy um, uh, bonbon. Okay, that's what we're doing today. So if you've joined me live, you can greet. So I can welcome you to this evening's broadcast. Welcome, welcome to every one of us. We're highly welcome, welcome. I hope our week has been great. I hope we have been doing very well. Okay, so um, what um, informed this recipe is my sister, my junior sister. My junior sister asked me a question and she said that, um, how do I, that she needs my book on recipes. Okay, so that's, that was how she started. Okay, so before then, let's share, share, share. I forgot. <laughs> I was like, why am I doing hand and mouth at the same time? <laughs> let's share, share, share. Let's share to friends, family. It's going to be a very short video. So share so that people can join us live and they can ask their questions and they find out that it's going to be really, really a lovely evening or afternoon this afternoon. You will really, really love this afternoon broadcast, okay? So... Join me live and share, share, share. Let's share out to so many people now. I'm sharing mine right away. Okay, let's share, share. As we look at how to make this very nice bond, okay? It's um, a healthy snack that you can have. You can have this snack any time of the day. And I mean any time of the day. It has healthy recipes and very, very healthy ingredients and very, very few ingredients that are healthy for you remember i've told us what groundnut can do for us or any of the nuts it contains nuts okay so also for those who are who have issues with nuts they have to keep away from this but most people are okay and remember like i told us nuts have protein and many of those nuts have like almond nuts peanuts they have omega-3 and the omega-3 are very very good for us and remember also that nuts are filling. Nuts are filling. They will help you to feel full and help you not to be hungry or feeling very, very hungry. And that's why nuts are very, very good for snacks for us. Remember, there was a time I showed us another peanut snack that you can make. And it's in Nigeria very frequently in your Alsa land. It's called donkwa. So this one is not donkwa, but you know, it's... um. It has ingredients similar to donkwa, but this is for Yibo donkwa. <laughs> you know, Yibo is like chocolate a lot. So you can see the chocolate here in it, for Yibo donkwa. So that's what we're going to do today. And um, we're going to taste it after we are done. We'll have tasters because uh, this period is um, it's not time for us to be eating, eating, eating. But I have tasters in the house that will taste for us, okay? So this is what we are doing today is peanut um, and chocolate bonbons okay i will just go ahead and make sure that um, we do it it's very very short period so i just talk a bit about the ingredients that are in here and then we look at it very very few ingredients okay we have coconut flour we have coconut flour we have um dark chocolate this is dark chocolate chips Dark chocolate chips and dark chocolate chips, of course, you know, very healthy for you. It's an antioxidant. It's also very, very, especially sugar free. Okay. It's very good for us menopausal women because it also helps us to have all the nutrients we need. Like that's what I always tell people when you are at your menopause, you need um, food that can help you remove free radicals, remove stress, give you cytostrogen and also help with removing hot flushes. So another thing we need is very little rice. I'm going to show you how to pop the rice this afternoon very easily. You pop the rice and then you knead it all. If you have um, um, rice cripsy that is um, not really very much processed, you can also use it. And you know, in popping this rice, if you want it soft, very, very soft, I like my things crunchy. So I use um, the one that can make it not so soft. But if you want it very soft, you just parboil it for a few minutes, like 20 minutes, and then you put it in the oven before you now fry. That one is very fragile and very, very poppy. But we're going to use the alternative, which I'm going to show you today. And then another ingredient we need is honey. 
okay remember honey is also gives you energy and honey is, honey is also very good for your digestive health especially if they are natural cold press honey don't go and get processed honey natural cold press like a forever honey fantastic for you okay very very good for you and then of course our peanut butter okay we're using peanut butter this peanut butter we made it ourselves at home here yeah? and then um, like i always tell people it's always good for you whatever you can do yourself so if you grind it in your blender i'm not going to be grinding today just get your bran nuts this is the bottle of bran nuts we took it from okay get your bran nut put it in your blender blend it as much as your blender can blend it and then when you bring it out you now use your spoon to heat it to actually bring out the oil use your spoon to skip it that's how i got this even though it was in powder form i was beating it i was putting it together and beating it until i was able to bring out the granite oil a bit from it so it's very much like peanut butter okay so if i did this right here in the house we didn't buy peanut butter so those are the ingredients that we need um for the peanut butter and then by the time we finish making and yeah by the time we finish um mixing all together it's going to we're going to form it into a ball okay this is the ball so we form it into this ball and after forming it into this ball we put it in the freezer for like 10 15 minutes or more okay so like advice i give people remember we're making snacks for menopausal women okay what i i i, I will advise you to do is when you reach this stage and you have finished it, you can put it inside a, a like a box like thing or a container and put plenty of them and put it in your freezer. Then anytime, a few minutes before you, you take it, you can now melt your chocolate chips or if you don't have chocolate chips, you can use normal cocoa powder, okay? You can use your normal cocoa powder. You put it on fire and then you melt, put a little water and a little milk and then you melt it. When I mean milk, I mean plant-based milk. If I see my plant-based milk, okay, my light ultra, a little bit of it and chocolate, I mix them together and then I, I roll as I'm going to be showing us today. So remember, this light chocolate is also, light chocolate ultra is also an, a cytostrogen product okay it helps you to re mimic the estrogen that your body is losing remember like i tell us menopause is a period when you have erratic estrogen that's perimenopause and menopause erratic estrogen and dropping in your estrogen so you need a lot of foods that can help you build up your estrogen to minimize menopausal symptoms to minimize hot flashes to minimize irritability mood changes to minimize all the other secondary issues that can come with menopause okay so this
Yes. All right. So, like I said, you just um, do this and then you put it in the freezer. And then when you need it, you now bring it out and roll in your chocolate um, chocolate chips or whatever. Let me put back in the freezer. It's now that it's rolling. Low. I don't know if it's back. It's back there. We're having network issues. Let's be sure we are okay. Let's see where it's done. This is where it started really. Um, really yet. Boy, is he on there? Are you sure it's on? Yeah. Yes, it's on. Are we back? To minimize irritability, who changes to minimize? Um. We are really having issues with our network. Boy, it's like he's back. He's back. All right, so we go ahead. If you're sure it's back, then we go ahead. And I'm going to show you how to mix it. All right, so first of all, we want to make our rice. Um, we want to make our rice, pop our rice. We want to pop our rice. So to pop your rice, you're going to be needing like a, a, a thick frying pan. A thick frying pan and then an iron, a thick frying pan with salt in it and then your rice, okay? So this takes a little while. So you're going to, let me write the gas. Okay, so are you? I, I, am I being seen? Yes. So I have my salt, and then I'm going to add the rice because we want to make our uh, allow the rice to get a little hot, um, the salt to get a little hot, and then you start stirring the the rice. On the salt. You no, know, those of us that fry ground nuts, it's like frying ground nuts. It's like when you're frying ground nuts. I'm not sure this thing is. Mm -hmm. All right, so we'll put it on fire until it starts popping. I'm going to show you. But if you don't have, um, if you like, you don't like, for me, I'm really not so crazy about rice. I'm really not so crazy about rice. So if I'm the one, let me give you alternatives you can use instead of popped rice. You can use flax seed, okay? Flax seed is also very good for us. It has omega-3. You can use your flax seed instead of rice puffed rice. You can also use your chai seed instead of puffed rice, okay? And then you can also use them some kind of uh, nuts that you have you have broken into smaller pieces. Any nut of choice that you love, you can also use it. So, but for this one, we are using. Of course, it's peanut and puffed rice, okay? And I've told you another alternative way you can make your puffed rice. You can parboil your rice a bit, bake it in an oven, and then now fry. But I really don't like frying. That's why I prefer here. You might wonder, all this salt, is all this salt not going to be unhealthy? We are going to sieve out the whole salt by the time... We finish popping our rice.
So it's heating, you can see it here. Stirring it as frequently as possible. If you don't, it will just boil. It has started popping. It has started popping here for me. But you can't hear the popping sound, but I can hear it here. And it has also started browning. So we're going to sieve out our sieve out the salt. So I'm putting the salt inside the sieve, and I'm going to sieve out and bring out only the rice, the pork rice. So that's our, if you taste it, you will find out that it's not, it's not tasting salty. We, so I'm going to just bring out the top of it, the popped rice. All right, so we're back. So these are popped rice. Okay. You hold it by your hand, you find out that it's easy for you to crack it. So that's our rice ready. So now when we are the ingredients, as I'm talking about, I'm using, I'm using, um, if you use like one cup of peanut butter, but here I'm using quarter cup. This is quarter cup of peanut butter. Okay, so one cup of peanut butter, another one cup will be your chocolate, another one cup will be your rice, and then quarter cup of um, coconut flour, okay? All right, so I'm putting a coconut flour, quarter cup, but remember my cup is, I'm using, my one cup today is quarter cup, but if you're making large quantity, you can use your normal one cup. For my one cup today is quarter cup. So one cup of peanut butter, one cup of popped rice, one cup of coconut chips, coconut um chocolate chips, quarter cup of coconut flour. Okay. All right. So we add this the three together, and then of course we're using honey. Honey is like what um two tea tablespoons. So for this one, I've divided into four. I'm going to use half. I'm going to use like half tablespoon, okay? Oh, they left the cover. So half tablespoon of honey. And then I'm going to put a pinch of cinnamon. Remember, what good thing about this uh, recipe is that it's not cooked. It's not cooked, okay? So you can use your cinnamon. Cinnamon is not supposed to be really cooked for long or cooked at all. All right. So we'll turn everything together now. So 
So like I said, this is a snack you can snack on any time of the day, in the night, in the morning, in the afternoon. It doesn't really matter. You just snack on it all the time. So when the coconut flour and the peanut butter and the rice and cinnamon, everything is well mixed together, then you now make them into balls. I've not washed my hands. I'll give to Stachino to help me wash your hands. Come and help us form it into balls like I did. So easy to make snack that you can actually make and then, like I said, when you have formed them into balls, you can keep them in, the, in some bowls and put in the freezer. For those of you that don't like chocolate, you can eat it as it is. But if you're okay with chocolate, you can now, um, after putting it in the freezer, bring it out and add chocolate to it, okay? All right, so she's going to help us make this. This is how it comes out, but she's going to form it into balls to be so this is going to become like this all right so yes you can stay put parchment paper um, you can stay there you can stay there, you can stay there. so she's going to be forming it into ball ah, she's forming it into ball i want to show you how to melt your chocolate the chocolate that you can now roll after putting this inside the freezer for like at least 10 minutes okay so I have my bowl for melting my chocolate here. I hope we're seeing us. So I've just added my one cup of chocolate chips in here. So this is my chocolate chips and I'm going to light the fire again and I'm going to now melt the chocolate, okay? So I already boiled some hot water, which I'm just going to pour in so that it will be faster for us. I don't want to keep us waiting here. I'm not pouring the hot water inside my chocolate. Too. The hot water is just to be the, like the steaming base for me to melt my chocolate in. So we we'll allow the chocolate to melt. And then while it's melting, let me have the parchment paper. I'm still going to put parchment paper. Oh, okay, I have no, I don't even need parchment paper again. All right, so let me allow the chocolate in a steaming way to melt. And then I tell you about um, granola. Granola is one, this is my husband's granola that I made, but I made it from beginning to the end. <laughs> But I just want to show us. It's another good snack you can have as a menopausal woman. Okay? Granola. Granola is made from rolled oats, old fashioned old roads, plenty of nuts. Like here, I have almond nuts, cashew nuts, coconut, ground nuts. Okay? Those are the four nuts I have here. And then I also have um, um, not raisins. I didn't use raisins, but you can use raisins. I use um, cranberry nuts that are. Because they are held here, okay? And then some honey and all that. So in the night also when you're hungry, you can just get a cup, just take a handful or two handfuls and put your light ultra. My husband will always help me check that chocolate. I think that's it. Turn, turn it in. Is it melting? So I'm going to put the light Okay. Then um, um, my husband is this really nice, really lovely, nice snacks. Just these two. You have all the nutrients you need. It's, it's like a meal. You can use it for your breakfast. You can use it for your dinner. Okay? And you can use it as snacks. And in another beautiful way you can have it is 
mix your light ultra with this and put it in the freezer. You bring it out, it's like, for those of you who like parfait, it's like you're taking parfait in another dimension, very, very healthy, okay? So I just said, because of the question I had yesterday, I said I'm going to spend a few days um, during this month on Wednesdays to teach us some healthy snacks you can have. Because the person that called me said, please, I need your book on, on snacks. And so this month also, by the time we are ending this month, we're going to be doing a lot of snacks. And we're going to check the snacks we have done in the past. We're going to put all of them together into a book for you. And then you can have that book. And remember, again, those who will be live that time will have it free of charge. And those who are not live will have to buy it. Okay? So this answering my sister's question. I'm going to also send this um, whatever because I know she's at work. My many people are at work. That's why we don't have many people. We have program in church. So we leave the house before 5. And 5 p.m. is normally when we have a broadcast. Check it. Melt it for me. So she has finished rolling it. Okay, this is the one she just rolled now. And this is the one we had rolled and put in the freezer. So we're going to put this in the freezer and then we will enjoy it later because it's not for, sorry, <laughs> it's not for now. It's better to stay in the freezer. I'll get the chocolate and then I'll roll. Okay. All right, so it's not the chocolate has melted, it's always better. Like, even when you're working with it, you can work with it with the hot water so that it doesn't get um cool again or you remove it. But this is just three we are going to roll, so no need to leave it. So, the chocolate, this is the cho um, chocolate chips. It's already very melted. So we are going to roll. We are going to roll and they will get ready to taste for us. So we will roll then you know, we go and get us. So this is it. You just take one, drop it inside and then roll on the chocolate. Can use a bigger bowl if it's many just because it's three i just decided hmm, let me use my normal container so i've rolled one and i'm dropping it and then i'm picking the second one to roll and then i'm picking the third one to roll So Sister Chino is going to go back to the freezer now to help us to bring the one we have done and put these two in the freezer there. So she will put them in the freezer. And then. So that is how to make your healthy, crunchy, and very nutritious peanut butter bun bun, okay? And um, like I said, it's a pity we are having it by 2 p.m. Throughout February, we are going to actually meet by 2 p.m. because of the program we have in church. All right, but if you prefer 3 p.m., I want you to put it on the chat for me. And remember, if you need your light ultra, which is going on very whoopy discount, buy two and get one free, or buy one and get one at half price, or buy one and get one at half price, then you chat me on my WhatsApp number. My WhatsApp number is plus two three four two four two three four seven zero three five one five one six four two. Thank you for the thumbs up. I know we are not so many, but I'm sure many people will watch it by five p.m. Udenta Felix, you're welcome. Welcome to this evening's broadcast. I don't know who again is with me. So remember the ingredients we used today and what I've told us are honey. Very, very good for your um, digestive health. Very, very good for energy. And also very, very good for you as a replacement for sugar, okay? 
like here we have total fat zero percent total carb zero percent very very good for you so who is tasting you know are you tasting okay so are you seeing china's face i uh, taste for us <laughs> let your you, you can use your hand if you need them it's a snack <laughs> i don't think i'm seeing her face so i am i'm not seeing her face so. i'm only seeing her okay uh -huh. so china is tasting for us so can you taste it? At least mommy did today's so. one. Wow. Wow. She said, wow. So yummy. So yummy. <laughs> so this is a nutritious snack you can have. I'm telling you, very, very good. Remember, peanut butter is filling. Peanut butter has all the nutrients that you need to make you healthy as a menopausal woman. Peanut butter filling for you. Peanut butter very good and then you have your coconut coconut is also very very good for us and you have your honey and then like cinnamon cinnamon is also very good and you can put a dash of your light ultra also to add that other protein cytostrogen for you and remember for every menopausal woman don't allow hot flushes don't allow night sweat don't allow heat in your body because it can lead to secondary issues like diabetes high blood pressure and also irritability and also and all sorts of things to happen to you so make sure you eat healthy remain healthy and join us again tomorrow in aging with grace when we talk about our financial health health thank you for joining us today and make sure you try it if you're going to try it help me post it on or before even if you watch replay help me see put it that you will try thank you for joining us love you all bye